Good afternoon. Again, I'm hoping everyone's having a good day. Uh, as I started to uh, uh, say a couple of months ago, I'm intending to become a write-in candidate for U.S. House of Representatives, the 16th district uh, for, uh, comprising here in the uh, Bradenton area, uh, to be a representative for the people, for the people's safety. And uh, I just, uh, uh, about these video messages, I don't even know if anybody's actually uh, being able to view any of them or not yet. But they're all from a, a vantage point, from a, a perspective of caring for our people, caring for our nation, wanting our people and our nation to continue while I'm hearing threats that are said by others that are uh, of opposite intents. You know, it, I know it doesn't seem likely day to day. There's uh, mostly all of what I'm thankful about is when I'm out and about, uh, uh, people are getting around all right. I don't uh, see much of any indication of any danger or hazard. But there are the others that like to get into clandestine kind of broadcasting, and they like to make sure that I hear. And uh, there was another occasion that I found in my file from back on, uh, in January of 2014, where an old gay who alleges being a priest got into the uh, sound of a bus I was riding again. And he, you know, he says that the United States is a nation that they were supposed to wipe out. You know, that uh, other people riding hear the, the same kind of threats that I hear. I get to my computer and I send a report, I send to the Department of Justice or the or whatever news, besides whatever, uh, besides whatever feedback that I hear after the sends, you know, that there is the constant awareness uh, from the monitoring that is actually mostly hostile, though, from the operation when I was a teenager in Sebring. So anyway, I start thinking about it and I, th I th think, uh, yeah, I, the monitoring starts criticizing me, you know, kind of like a damned if you do, damned if you don't. You know, if I send something, then uh, they start complaining about it and accusing that they're, that they're suddenly opposite intents that I want, that instead of uh, people being safer, that there's more danger. If I don't send, they accuse me of being holding back and uh, withholding information, even if I've sent the same item dozens of times before years ago. So anyway, it's kind of a, a partially a dilemma and a burdensome dilemma. But I believe a candidacy will help to uh, make the people safer, make people more aware of what the, uh, the uh, uh, dangers uh, that I've heard said are. Hopefully be able to, be able to de determine that mostly it's a, uh, it's a matter of propaganda by some uh, few uh, radicals rather than anything really uh, of a serious danger. But uh, the same, uh, same participants have continued through years, and like I say, sometimes so there are some who insist that they're from clergy, and I think perhaps the man I'm quoting from 2014, uh, I might have spoken him one time during a phone, uh, the only phone call I ever called to the rectory in, uh, of Incarnation Catholic Church on B Ridge. But you see, whatever they say, and you know what else, that they like to uh, say, uh, uh, threats about uh, wanting to victimize uh, the people that uh, who trust them the most. Uh, even threatening, uh, I've heard on, on more than one occasion, threats of martyring, uh, that uh, clergy threatened to be martyring U.S. Catholics while encouraging, uh, you know, the uh, you know open door policy pertaining to Catholics from other nations. Many of whom are really good, you know, people con con uh, 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 encounter people day to day but of course, the persons of leadership like to try to uh, manipulate people by masses in order to cause uh, dissension, friction, uh, cultural uh, clash, and uh, and uh, various uh, you know uncertainties, you know, to uh, uh, reduce the uh, the uh, actually reduce the level of uh, of security for the people that are arriving as well as our own. So anyway, I'm just uh, including this uh, this uh, other item. Uh, in the, with the description of this video. Again, uh, the former stepfather, Bill Love, is indicated, as a matter of fact, years ago, he had actually said that he had gotten with uh, the subversive moon uh, manipulation activity. I had said before in previous reports, including one of these videos, that the first time I ever saw any manipulation of the moon was in, when I was on a day in late 1990, uh, after an early evening of late 1990, when I was visiting his... Uh, house on Lombo Key. Uh, I saw the moon above the Gulf of Mexico and when it dipped slightly I saw that a small cloud beneath dipped also. At the time I didn't have any suspicions or anything so I didn't really uh, I didn't really suspect anything much about it. So anyway I proceeded and uh, now 
you know, it's uh, to more than 22 years after. So anyway, a while ago, uh, when I was working on these matters and reviewing, uh, worriedly reviewing, I don't want to be a cause of any difficulties, this is for the resolving, that a man alleging, sounding like Bill Love again, arrogantly from the operation, intrudes and says, we did spectacularly. You know, pretend, I guess he was uh, speaking about uh, the uh, still uh, somewhat uh, uh, secret uh, various moon, uh, moon manipulation. So I still don't know, technically, I don't know how, uh, what they might have done. Uh, it's alleged uh, that Bill Love got uh, in some way associated with Larry Gardner of Miami, uh, whom recently might have uh, been in the broadcasting confusion, touting uh, awareness of an ability to uh, lock on to the moon some kind of a, of a force uh, that can lock onto the moon and cause manipulating as well as causing various uh, uh, illusions that can uh, cause apprehension among, uh, among the people. So anyway, I think it's imperative to uh, try to, uh, uh, you know, have people, uh, uh, you know, the safety of the people is a day-to-day -day responsibility. You know, uh, some people uh, who, who uh, of uh, uh, you know, religious corruption, uh, think that they should be of, uh, of uh, you know, trying to bring about uh, disaster, the end of the world kind of uh, scenarios. But we know that good shepherd is supposed to be, shepherds are supposed to make sure that people are safe, everyone's safe, uh, from the beginning of the day, through each day, through each night, and uh, with the world without end uh, uh, intent for everyone being safe instead. I'm going to go ahead and conclude this, but there will be additional detail. Again, hoping everyone's all right, and with some help, I believe that I could be a good representative to help resolve some matters on behalf of millions of people. Have a good day.